Good morning, everyone. We have already discussed about the various types of central figure governor. For example, board's governor, gravity controlled governor, and the spring controlled governor. Today, we are going to discuss about the inertia governor and the stability governor. Inertia controlled governor. The inertia governor works on the principle of moment of inertia due to both centrifugal and inertia force. These governors are not being used frequently because inertia governors are more sensitive than the centrifugal governor and it becomes difficult to completely balance the revolving force of inertia governor. The example of inertia governor is Westinghouse inertia governor is presented in figure 1. Then the sensitiveness of governor. For determine the sensitiveness of governor, we have considered two governors A and B running at same speed. When their speed increases or decreases by certain amount, the lift of sleeve of governor a is greater than the lift of sleeve of governor B. Therefore, the governor A is more sensitive than the governor B. We can also say that the sensitiveness of governor is the ratio of difference between the maximum and minimum equilibrium speed to the mean equilibrium speed that is n maximum minus n minimum divided by n mean and mean is the n minimum plus n maximum by 2 is presented by equation 1 that is n is equal to n1 plus n2 by 2 or the sensitiveness of governor is twice of um, twice into omega 2 minus omega 1 divided by omega 1 plus omega 2 that is given in the equation 2. The sensitivity of governor increases as the speed range decreases. Then the stability of governor. For the ideal case, the radius of rotation of governor is constant at every speed. But for the practical case, as speed increases, the radius is also increases and the speed decreases with radius decreases. The governor is said to be stable when for every speed within the working range there is a defined configuration. There is only one radius of rotation of flybars. Or for the stable governor, if speed increases, the radius of governor ball must be increases. And for the unstable governor, if speed increases, the radius of rotation is decreases. Then the synchronous governor. The governor is said to be synchronous when the speed, equilibrium speed is constant for all radius of rotation of balls with in the working things. Here we have neglected the friction force. So the range of speed is 0 means n2 minus n1 is equal to 0 means n maximum is equal to n minimum. To verify this, we have first considered a case 1 that is the Porter governor. Porter governor where the n1 square is equal to small m plus capital M divided by m into 895 divided by h1 square is given by the equation 3. And for the maximum speed of Porter governor, that is n2 square is equal to small m plus capital M divided by m into 895 by h2 is given by the equation 4. For the synchronism, the range of speed should be 0 means n2 is equal to n1 
and therefore from equation 3 and 4 the height of governor at the minimum speed and the maximum speed h1 should be s2 and which is impossible in the case of porter governor the height of governor is same for the minimum speed and the maximum speed hence a porter governor cannot be synchronous then we have taken the another example of the spring control governor or Hafner governor. Here we have neglected the apolytic condition. So we have considered x1 is equal to x2 is equal to x and y1 is equal to y2 is equal to y and the a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 0. Thus at the minimum speed is given by the equation 5 that is capital M into G plus capital S1 is equal to F C1 into X upon Y or we can say twice of mass of the flywall into 2 pi N1 upon 60 whole square into R1 into X into Y and for the maximum speed is given in the equation 6 that is capital Mg plus capital S2 is equal to twice of the mass of the flywheel into 2 pi and 2 upon 60 whole square into R2 into X into Y. If N1 is equal to N2 then by equating the equation 5 and 6 the equation 5 is divided by equation 6. We get the equation 7 and that is capital Mg in plus capital S1 divided by capital M into G plus capital S2 is equal to R1 upon R2. And this is the ideal case of synchronous Hartnell governor. The synchronous governor is not a practical use because sleeve will move to one of its extreme position immediately the speed deviates from the synchronous speed then the hunting of governor the governor is said to be hand if the speed of engine fluctuate continuously above or below the main speed the hunting is the caused by two sensitive governors which changes the fuel supply by a large amount when small change in speed of rotation takes place. Then the effort of governor. The effort of governor is the mean force acting on the sleeve to rise or lower it for a given change of speed. Power of governor. Power of governor is the work done at the sleeve for a given percentage change of speed. It is the product of the mean value of the effort and the distance through which sleeve moves. So the power of the governor is equal to mean effort into the distance moved by sleeve. Then the stable of the governor we have given the four controlling force diagram for spring loaded governors here there are the three different conditions one is the stable governor or the synchronous governor or the unstable governor so first we have taken the stable governor for stable governors, a radius of rotation increases, the controlling force must increase. Here, the controlling force is presented on, along the y-axis and radius of rotation is presented along the x-axis. Means, the centrifugal force upon R must increase as the radius increases. Therefore, the controlling force curve shown in figure 2b d e must intersect the controlling force axis below origin and the equation of curve d e given by f c is equal to a r minus b for the stable governor r increase increase then the angle must increase 
the synchronous governor? The synchronous governor is given in the figure 3b by the curve OC. If B is equal to 0, the controlling force OC passes through the origin. Hence, FC by R will remain constant for the radius of rotation and this governor becomes synchronous and is given by the equation FC is equal to A R and synchronous governor angle is constant and it is independent of radius of governor. Then the unstable governor is given in the figure 4B by the curve AB. If B is positive, then FC by R decreases as R increases. It means that radius of governor increases and the controlling force is decreases. Thus, governor becomes unstable and is given by the line AB. The equation is FC is equal to AR plus B. For the unstable governor, R increases, angle will decrease. Then we have taken a problem. In the case of unstable governor, explain clearly what will happen when the speed of rotation is first increased from 0 to maximum equilibrium speed and then dismissed below the minimum equilibrium speed. At this situation of governor, it is the highest degree of hunting. It means first when the governor is at rest, the radius, the balls are at the minimum distance from axis of rotation and the sleeve is at the lowest position. As the speed of rotation increases, no movement of ball or sleeve takes place until the equilibrium speed which corresponding to minimum radius of rotation is reached. And the slice further increase of speed then upsets the equilibrium and immediately causes the governor balls to fly out to their maximum radius. And this has the effect of cutting off supply of energy or the fuel supply to the engine and speed begins to fall. The speed continues to fall until the equilibrium speed which corresponding to maximum radius of rotation is reached and the slice further decrease of speed one more disturbs the equilibrium and balls immediately return to their minimum radius. So, then the halting at the highest degree of hunting will occur for the unstable governor.